So a stain is just a product that we apply to a wood floor to change the colour or tone of it. The stains that we use for the Woodmaster system is the Morel stains and this can be used to change the colour of the wood. So the purpose of the stain is just to change the colour of the wood. It can help hide imperfections, old uh, damage caused by water or previous treatments and it can help to make old pine boards look a lot more consistent. The purpose also is just to change the colour. It doesn't give any level of protection and it's basically just a base colour or stain and it serves no purpose from a protection point of view. So the two main issues with stains, one is that you can get overlap marks. So if you apply one coat to a board and when you're doing the board next to it, you overlap back onto the first board, what will happen is the, the, that board will act as having two coats of stain and it will end up slightly darker than the other board. So you need to be really careful that you work board by board. The second issue is comes from your sanding. So if your scratch pattern isn't perfect. The problem with stains is that they highlight everything. So any little imperfections, scratch marks will, will show up when you apply the stain. So the best method we've found to apply the stain is using the applicator kit with the applicator pad and also using a brush to feather in the edges. So what you want to do is first of all mask up unless your client 100% rubber stamps that they're having the areas redecorated but even so we recommend masking up is, is the best way forward. So what you want to do is apply a good amount of stain on the first board all the way from the start of the board to the end of the actual the board end okay and then what you do is work off with a clean cloth or like a buffing cloth or a rag and remove the excess okay if there's any bits that you missed you can just touch in the edges make sure you get under the skirting boards because obviously the board will still look the lighter color where you've missed but what you can do so cutting your edges with your brush okay Get some on your applicator kit, remove the excess, don't allow for any drips because that will actually stain the bit that you've dripped, but then work the board, you see, to the, to the cut end, so the end of the board, okay? So work it on, try and do it in like one nice movement and we're not overlapping into the board next to it, yeah? And then just work off the excess, okay? So what you can do is sort of work back onto the board that you previously did but try not to massively overlap onto the board that you're going to go on to next okay because what we don't want is any kind of crossover marks where you get like a two-tony look okay so again like we say just repeat so we're just going to go to that cut end and we're going to work quite quick here so staining does work well with two people where you get one applying and one buffing but if you are doing it on your own what you want to do is just do good lengths don't go too far and don't let it dry in and just work board by board and row by row and just actually removing the excess as you go So once you're finished, the results can be great. You'll get a nice, consistent colour over the whole floor. Obviously, in our uh, marketing packs, we have a range of different colours. Try and keep it to a minimum, otherwise customers will get confused. Also, try and make up some sample boards. It's great for you know getting used to the scratch pattern, applying them, how they react to the wood. But as you can see here, 
you know, you have really light pine boards um, that can really be transformed. And once you change that colour, it just can completely change the look and the feel of the room. But again, we tend to find that stains work best on pine boards. We don't we don't find oils work very well on the pine boards and pine tend to be the older, you know, floors that have got problems and, and a dark stain can really pull them together and make them look great. The last thing to, to remember is because your stain offers no level of protection, once it's been applied, leave it to dry for about half an hour and then you can start getting your first coats of Mega One or you know your primer on and then just seal the floor as normal if you've got any questions let me know we'll be happy to help and advise